Hello everybody and welcome back to All of Fabric Tree. Today we make this gamer axe and an Enderman XP farm. It's very good. I hope you enjoy. So it's the final episode and yeah I've decided it's the final episode. And the only thing is, we haven't actually, I haven't explored the nether. I, I've gone around a bit in, when I was building stuff, but I actually never showed it. Like, there's these weird purple biomes, and and there's these meteors that lead to the roof of the bedrock. Like, you can actually go above the bedrock, because apparently these meteors break it. But, it's kind of useless to us. But, one thing we never actually explored was what, this temple thing. So, we're actually going to go in and have a look what's in here. Uh, I kind of cleared out everything to make it just easy to see, and this is a trapped chest, so that means there's definitely TNT underneath it, as there is. Is that all of it? Okay, it was. So what do we have? Oh, hello, get out of here. So what do we have got on here? Silk touch. Well, we got silk touch after all that. I need. I wanted silk touch ages ago. I mean, there we go. Where are you guys coming from? There's a lot of crying obsidian, which I remember actually you don't get the obsidian from it. But, meh. Yeah, that's all pretty much that's in here, I think. But the other things we haven't really looked at then is... Netherite. We actually haven't gotten any netherite. And I think I said in the last episode, we were going to make the Gamer Axe. This Gamer Axe, which required a netherite axe. Of course, we need to get some netherite. So, that's what we're going to try and do right now. Wait. It says something dropped netherite. Oh, netherite golems. I mean, bro, if we can find enough netherite, let's make netherite golem. So, netherite spawns at Y level 15, so we need to find, like, a good place to dig down. Somewhere, like, here seems good. The one thing I just realized is I've actually lost my obsidian axe, and I don't know what to do. Do I go back and make a new one and enchant it to have um, efficiency on it, or do I just run around with this pickaxe because I could just hear her vein mining all of it and then just eventually find some which I might just do let's see where is it at you know one thing I should grab is my dank null don't wait is there a dank null in this there is danks did I not make one I could have swore I made one, though. Apparently not. Okay. Let's make a quick dank null. Um, we need a barrel. We're surrounded with coal, then. Which is a weird recipe. Yeah, apparently I never made it. Weird. Alright, redstone. Alright, let's just make a, a full one. Okay, the last dank null actually does require a lot of nether stars, and to be honest, I'm not going to bother doing that. But anyway, we've got plenty of stuff now, so we just want to put this in here and also pick up on. So that means any nether or netherrack, yeah, netherrack we pick up will automatically go into um, the dank null. And with the magnet on, it should be pretty easy. Alright, just run around here and it'll all just go into that thing. Right. Surely it's not going to be... Oh, there's some. Apparently uncovered some, but didn't actually dig it up. Anyway, so here's our first ancient debris. Wait. Oh, it all went in here. Okay, uh, let's not tag that. So it's only netherrack. Okay, so we actually have some ancient debris now. Let's see if we can find some more. I don't know if there's a good way to duplicate it. Hopefully there is. Okay, um... I wasn't expecting it to be this rare. Alright, I'll be back once i found a decent amount of this ancient debris. Well, we're back in the overworld now, and my pickaxe is pretty much fully broken, and all we've managed to find was 11. So, I am not going to be mining anymore, because this pickaxe is pretty low on durability. Even though it has 
Ah, that's why. It doesn't actually have Omega Unbreaking Tree. That's probably why it broke so fast. But anyway, what I want to do is, can we pulverize this Ancient Debris down to increase ore output? We can, but we need this tri -churinator, which is a whole other crazy amount of stuff. Uh, that's not difficult. They're not difficult. That's easy. This is copper plates and tin plates. That's easy. Basic circuit, gold plates, and copper plates. Okay. Um, so we need, what, gold? One thing I noticed, we're very low on gold. Uh, I managed to get a load of nuggets while in the nether, but that's not going to cover everything. And one other thing I'm kind of thinking... Maybe this isn't the last episode. The more I'm thinking about it, like saying, my pickaxe is any broken. I don't have a proper way to repair this. The only way I can really think of properly repairing this adamantium pickaxe is by making a huge mob farm. By huge mob farm, I don't mean like setting up one in the, the end with a load of endermen. Even though that would be a really good mob farm for XP. I want to set up an XP farm in the nether. Using a cursed earth. This cursed dirt. Cursed dirt, not cursed earth. We need to make these cursed seeds out of these cursed droplets. Now, we have a lot of cursed droplets. Um, we've got 141. And this stuff spreads. So... If I go into the nether, go above the, the roof of the bedrock, we can then set up a massive multi-tower or multi-platform um, cursed dirt area where mobs will spawn. And the thing with the mobs, uh, putting this in the, the nether, is we'll get all the nether mobs as well. Meaning we'll get piglins, pigmen... We'll have um, we'll boars, we'll have winter skeletons, we'll have everything. And the more stages of those, or more platforms we have of this cursed dirt, the more mobs will be spawning. And if we have spikes at the bottom, we just have to stand next to it and the speed of all of them. Like we have, is these fans? Mob fans? Or, yeah, these fans, analog. I don't know what the difference between a fan and an analog fan are. But we can then use these to push the mobs off the platform into a hole where they will go down and die. And we just gather the items using a vacuum hopper and a ender chest to transfer the items from the nether to um, the overworld. So we can store it in our system over there. Meaning I'll probably have to upgrade all the chests to diamond, even though I've actually managed to upgrade a few of them to diamond. Which doesn't matter that much. But anyway, we need to make this tritium thing so we can get this ancient debris but to be honest do we really bother with um grinding this down can we use, not use a pulverizer no pulverizer doesn't work uh i need to compress these gold plates down uh screw it we'll we'll make the tritium thing it, it's not gonna go to waste anyway we'll just use it for making um well if we are going to continue this pack we're going to need all the stuff from what's the name of that mod that i'm making this for I can't remember. Uh, we have no power. Oh, because it's nighttime. Let's quickly sleep. Uh, yeah, that's it. Astro mine. Yes. Yeah, so we want to use uh, astro mine machines. Like, if we look at astro mine, astro mine. There's a lot of stuff in here that we haven't even touched. Like any of these extra meteor ingots, we haven't touched any of those. Now, the only one we found was Metite, which is weird. I haven't seen any Stellum, Univi, I haven't seen any of this Galaxium, Astronite, Asterite. So, I don't know what to do with any of that. And by the looks of it, there's even different clusters. But the thing is, it says there was space mining. And there is a rocket in this, and I don't know how it works. I've tried to use it in creative, but I think it's just there for, like, decoration at the moment. Like, there is a space suit. So, I don't know. Like, there's oxygen vents. So, it looks like you can make a space um, station or something. But we'll have to see. I'm going to have to do some research on Astromine. Uh, I'm not seeing the rocket in the list here. Where is it? 
Oh, there it is. Rocket. Yeah, it requires meat height. I'm guessing you have to send the rocket out and then go mining with it. All right. Yeah, Galaxium. Like, there has to be a way to gather this stuff. Like, there's Axiom Ore. Anyway, give me the gold. How are you going? You're still going. All right, so the Tridium... Tridium... Where is it? Presser, Electrolyzer... There it is. So this guy requires tons of iron. And he's iron gears. All right, let's make an iron gear. So we need two of those. We need iron plates. Um, iron. We don't have any iron plates. So give me this. Check that in there. So using the iron plates, we then need a grindstone. Uh, grindstone should be easy enough. There we go. Basic circuit requires copper. I don't know if I have any copper. Oh, I do. Copper plates. Oh, hang on. The recipe was still in there. So copper plates, gold plates, and a bit of redstone. Makes basic circuits. Here we go. And all we need is this primitive one, which is tin and copper. So copper in four corners. And we just need tin. Tin makes a primitive casing. The next tier up, can you upgrade this machine as it is? No. So I think the next the way to do it is advanced is just to... Okay, so you just surround the basic iron and bronze. Do we have any bronze? Um, no, we do not. Okay. Um, how do we make bronze? Let's see. Using this... Oh, it actually doesn't allow you to press U. Oh, yeah, because it's in my inventory. That's why. All right, bronze. Bronze plates come from bronze ingots, which come from either bronze dust and alloy smelter. Okay, so there is an alloy smelter from Astromine we can make it in. Um, alternatively, we'll just get three copper dust and one tin dust. Uh, okay, so let me grab some copper. Let's grab copper ore and grab some tin ore. Uh, we actually have some tin dust. Okay. Uh, this is grinding a bauxite. And it's having struggle struggling because it's creating iron at the moment. And that's enough for now, I'd say. Uh, let's just break this for a second. Oops. Um, hang on. I did not mean to do that. Oh, you know what's still going on? Everything's getting sucked into here. Uh, let's just put this thing away for right now. Uh, there we go. Alright, take out the bauxite, put the copper in, put these two back in here. There we go. I have to wait for this guy to fill up with power first. Uh, these guys still got cold, they do. Alright, almost there. Alright, we got ourselves some copper. Copper dust, anyway. Now, it's 3 to 1 makes bronze dust. And then what we want to do is smelt this bronze dust. Um, we can do that by just putting it in there. This will send it to our um, furnace. And um, if we just look up bronze now, we should have like over... Huh? Wait, does this not send it to the smelter? It's meant to. Hang on. Did we mess something up? Well, we should have bronze. Oh, you can't smell bauxite ore. Jeez, we have a lot of bauxite. What the hell am I meant to use bauxite for? Um. Oh. If you use an electrolyzer, it condenses down to aluminium and titanium. Okay. Well, didn't know that. But anyway, now we should have bronze. There we go, 24 bronze. Coming back over here, if we put four bronze in here to compress, um, this is going to drain power from everywhere. That's fine for a moment. Um, make it a few more bits of bronze. All right. I'll put the bronze dust or the copper dust in the system because I don't actually want to smelt it all just yet. 
Alright, so we got our bronze dust, nickelite, and a rich nickelite. Why would I put? Oh, yeah, diamond dust. Let's take all these out because I don't think we can actually use this at the moment. <sighs> okay, so. Technically, we don't need the bauxite anymore. That's still doing the copper. So. The only issue is if I put the bauxite back in the system, it's going to fill it into this. Yeah, I'd have to run over and take it out of the filter. Anyway. Um, yeah, I can put the puller back on. I don't need it to cook all the dust down. Wait, bauxite. Oh my god, there's so much of it. Give all the box. Actually, no, give me all the box. I'm going over to take out the filter now. Okay, uh, so that filter's been taken out, and the thing is, I've just realized we're spending way too much time trying to make the same axe when we could be doing other stuff like right now. I was thinking, if this was the last episode, let's set up a quick mob farm, but no longer doing that, so we don't have to set up the mob farms right away. But I'm thinking, maybe we will set up a mob farm this episode. Uh, or, I want to use these th other things, it's called teleporters. Teleporter. These teleporters here, um, will be very handy from teleport from here to the end portal, because I'm not going to travel another 5,500 blocks again, just to get there. This will allow us to teleport there easily, and all we have to do is smelt an eye of ender to make this ender shard, and then link the shards with a position, and it will allow us to put it into a teleporter, and just teleport anywhere. As long as the other teleporter is receiving the same location. So if we put a teleporter down, I don't know, maybe in our basement? We can't travel tra um, cross-dimensionally, so we'll have to, like, put one in our basement. That's what I'm kind of thinking. And this back wall over here will have, like, a teleporter system that we can teleport from different to different locations. All right. I'm tired of waiting to make this primitive. We'll just make this stupid primitive one. Actually, no. We do have everything to upgrade it now, so hang on. Let me just make the next here and leave it at that. What was, what did we need for the next, next tier, just out of curiosity? Just to see. Um, primitive. Okay, and upgrade it. Oh, we need steel. Do we have any steel? We do, actually. Um, okay. And what was the other thing? Iron? No. What was the next stuff? Oh, sterling silver. Yeah, not gonna bother with that. Alright. We need our casing. Uh, is it called casing? It's chassis. Alright, basic chassis. Uh, that in the bottom, this on the top. This either side and iron plates in this corners? Yes. Alright, basic churn thing, uh, my bob. Alright, break this. Um, let me get some Mark 1 cable. Put this here. And uh, slap you there. Does he get powered? He does. Alright. Crush this down into netherite dust for me, please. What's in here? Energy. Oh, that's the direction the energy comes from. This is the export of the items. This thing's actually not that bad. It's actually quite fast. Why aren't you running? Oh, you can't grind down iridium? Anyway, so, chuck that in there. This just starts melting it. What I actually need is a blacksmithing table. Now, I don't know if I actually own one of those. Um, but I shouldn't be too hard to craft. Now, if I look up nether... That's netherite horse armor. Wait. Um, netherite is smelting netherite dust. Oh, there's an exploit to make an infinite netherite. <laughs> um, where's the netherite? I know what happened. Bauxite got into the system, didn't it? Yep. Of course it did. Goddamn Bauxite. Alright, let's quickly sleep and then we'll make our axe. 
Okay, we have 44 netherite scrap, and we need gold to combine it. Um, just like that. This will now create us 11 netherite ingots. Now, we need a diamond axe. I don't believe I actually have one. No, I do not. Um, a stick. Make an actual diamond axe. Um, I don't even know where to put this blacksmithing table. I guess right there. Combine this to make a netherite axe. Now, the axe I want to make is labeled right here. We need enriched nickelite ingots. Do I have? I have one. Okay, we need to make a few more. Uh, nickelite, I have one more of those. So we need to go over to the infuser. Craft one nickelite ingot and one enriched nickelite dust to create an enriched nickelite ingot. The other thing we're going to need then is two Mark IV circuits and three steel and a battery. Alright. So, battery. Do I have a battery? I do not, but we should have everything to make one. There we go. Actually, let's just set up the recipe in our inventory right here. Uh, that there. We need a Mark IV. One of these. Oh, we're going to need a lot more enriched nickelite. What do we need? What? what? MK. We have 15 of those ones. We need two. So, let's make... Oh, uh, we need way more nickelite. Okay, so I need that and this. Okay, we can make two of these now. Now, we need to upgrade the Mark IIs into Mark threes, just like this. Two Mark threes, and the only thing we're missing right now is Mark fours, which I need to take the two of these out, put these in with that. This will make it into enriched nickelite ingots. All right, now we have enough. So last thing then is to make the two of these. There we go, put them there. Uh, what's the final thing? The steel. So, steel. We still have enough steel plates. That's great. Come in here and grab a little bit more enriched. And assemble it. Out there. Netherite axe in the middle. Battery. Gamer axe. Now, how do I charge this thing, actually? I never actually told of that. Not enough RGB. Oh my god, this thing looks amazing. Oh, it ran out of power. It was about to show it. Okay, and it has to be a way to charge stuff. Um, charger? Um, charge pad? Let's make a charge pad. Uh, we need enriched, just grand. Mark 4, we can make another one. That's not too bad. Steel and a lazuli flux conductor, or container. Um... Yikes. Alright, let's quickly make this thing. Well, so, apparently, I can actually just make the Lazuli Flux Container Mark 1, which will store power, and I think I can just chuck it in there and it'll power it. So, I guess that's an easy way of just getting power instead, instead of making its charge pad, because as I was looking at the recipe for each one of these containers, I needed a lot. And I mean a lot of batteries. Like, we could do it. I have the tin compressing, like, it's not that difficult. But, the more I think about it, why do we even bother when we can just give it a little bit of power and actually use it? Like, I'm not going to be using the thing the whole time. I'm just, like, making it for the novelty. Oh, my God. How much damage does this thing actually do? Uh, turn it off for a second. Let's see. Can we find a mob? Oop, I didn't mean to turn it back on. Um, I think, yeah, let's go down here. We should be able to find a, at least a zombie or something down here. All right, we have an Enderman. Okay, it's not actually that bad. Let's see. Zombie, full health. It does like seven and a half hearts. Who is still shooting me? You are. Seven and a half hearts. That is not bad. Not compared to this sword though, but... Does it actually say the damage when I'm holding? Oh, it does. 15. This is 23. So it's not... It's very powerful, but... Not compared to my adamantium sword. <laughs> anyway, let's head back up to the surface. And let's get working and gathering materials to make this teleporter. And go to the nether and set up this farm. 
Or maybe we should have set up an Enderman farm first. I'll decide which farm to make. Alright, we have everything we need now to create this teleport link between the end and here. I've decided to make an Enderman mob farm. Reason being is, uh, this video is probably already long enough. I've noticed my last video, episode 9, was over 40 minutes long. My mistake, because I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know if I wanted to do farming or machines. And if you do machines, it takes a lot of time. And I'm taking up a lot of time just doing a lot of talk in this episode. But all I want to do is just dig a hole here. Um, probably to about there. Do this. And dig out the floor. And then the ceiling. And just grab some of these planks. I should no, not on the floor. On the walls. Let's grab a bit more. Do up this quickly. All right, we'll put it in the first one here in the center. Um. So what we need to do is we need to link. So we need to sneak right click a block, which I'll do this middle block right here. This has linked it to this block specifically. Now we need to hold on to this one for right now. Now with the second one is we need to link this with the end the end portal and put this one down put this ender shard in this one over in the end portal area and then come back by teleporting and link this ender shard once we have put the portal uh, link down into this guy here and this will allow us to transfer wait I need to stand on this um I didn't think about that there we go thank god the floor is high enough perfect that'll do all right, let's go to the quickly fly to the end because this is going to take a quick 10 minute flight. We're finally at the end. My game crashed when I got here and I had to travel all the way back again because it sent me back to our base. But anyway, we're here now. I have linked this portal to right here. Uh, so I need to put that there. I need to right click this guy onto this teleporter. Now I believe if I shift, it teleports me home. Right click this one onto this guy, shift, and we're here. All right, now we have an easy way to teleport from home to the end portal. Uh, I'm not gonna need this cursed dirt. I have a different way of making all the endermen flood down the tunnel so I can harvest them all. But anyway, first things first, we need to go into the end now. And we need to figure out a suitable location to travel from. Oh yeah, I remember we had to kill the Ender Dragon twice because I messed up. Um, looking at the map, we need to go to the area with the least amount of um, area. So we can't go this way because there's a chance to just spawn near that. So by the looks of it, our best bet is north. Yeah, north. Alright, let's head north and we need to go down to Y level 1 and build a bridge out, out of slabs or bushes leaves even at that um i'm kind of thinking maybe i should go break one or two of those uh, meteors that are around so that i can repair my pickaxe a bit because they give a fair bit of levels let me see if i can do that quickly okay definitely not worth it and as you can see there's a lot of endermen spawning on that thing so if we have a platform really big we'll have a massive area for them to spawn on even though I've gotten that many clusters, um, I only went up by a tiny bit my pickaxe, so that's not that great. Anyway, what we need is slabs, so I'm just going to use cobblestone because why not? Let's grab a few stacks of these. There's no block that allows you to place it mid-air, like the angel block, so unfortunately we can't do that. I also then need a stack of cobblestone to be able to go down to Y level. So this is the north, so we need to go down. I've traveled about three stacks, or three and a half stacks. I have no idea what I'm making or counting properly. But we cannot see anything spawning over there. I might even go a little bit further because of that, or just completely destroy that part of the island. Because <laughs> why not? Oh, I'm going to have to completely remove that. Um, Yeah, I'm going to have to completely delete that. But anyway... We'll probably do a quick time lapse of making this thing now because it's going to take a few minutes to build it. So we need um, a big platform, probably a load of glass so we can see them all falling. That'll be kind of cool. 
and we're gonna have to put down a load of walls to stop them from walking off the edge we need to get an endermite set up so it'll ag aggro it and run towards it and we just need to set up a spike system to kill them so let's do that all right the platform is built the tunnel from the fall down is built with diamond spikes at the end as you can see the fall take a bit of damage and then die instantly because they have nowhere to teleport to all that's left now is to set up the endermite turn off that um so i need to set up an endermite in here now i'm actually going to um need to set up an actual rail system kind of thing i actually need more rail so uh give me a little bit more rail uh because i need to actually um bring the platform out this way a bit hang on i need more brick uh brick 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 where's my brick Where's me stone brick? I have no idea. Stone. Oh, hang on, my inventory's bugged. Stone. There we go. Um, the Enderman should not be able to get up here, so I need to actually do this first. I completely forgot, so I need to actually set up like a box. Like this. Um, yep, that'll do. Uh, actually, I need to put the carpus here, just so they can't teleport up here for just a minute. So I want the endermite to be... Is it there? No, I want... Yeah, there. So the endermite I want in this spot right here. So I'm going to put rail here, minecart there, and I'm just going to teleport myself over and over again until one spawns, and I'm going to nickname it Base. Alright, come on. There we go. Nickname it Base. Push it into the minecart. Just like that. Break that. Break the minecart underneath it. There we go. Then all I need to do is break this down. And then break this. Okay, I'm going to attract a lot of Endermen right now. But they're all going to start seeing the Endermite. And oh my god, look at them all go. So the carpet goes here just to protect them. Uh, it looks like I lost one. Oh my god, look at them go. I need to put water on top of that platform so they can't get over teleport anywhere. Um, okay, uh, I need a little bit more carpet because I think I lost one or two pieces. Oh, and I have some. And just fill this entire place in. There we go. Look at them go. Now, yes, yeah, so a lot of them are going to teleport around. So I actually need to get rid of all these guys. But as you can see, this is insane. I probably need to turn down my sound. Uh, let me do that quickly. Hostile creatures. Jeez, only on like 10. Drop down to like 2. Yeah, okay, that's a little bit more tolerable. Now, this is where we're going to get so many ender pearls. It's going to be ridiculous. Look at my pickaxe. I just stand here and it's almost. It's already half repaired. There you go. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I need to sort out the water a little bit better. I need to get a proper collection system. Let me actually disable my magnet for a moment. One other thing is actually we need to destroy this over here because I did notice some endermen are spawning on it. So we need to completely remove this. Okay. Plant that island thing is gone. All the endermen are just going to spew out like crazy. Um, I'm gonna have to organize the water a little bit better here. So let me actually grab some stone Stone brick, let me grab another bucket Got A few buckets of water, so that'd be good Now they're all gonna start teleporting onto this again, so Now it's not the prettiest water log box thing, but it'll stop them from coming in here. Oh my god 
the amount of ender pearls. Just repair this quickly and repair this quickly. Gee, I was not expecting this much XP. Well. And now everything is just extra gain. We could just sit here for hours and just let it levels build up like crazy. But I need to get a vacuum hopper and a bin or something like that. Hopper. Um, hopper. I need a vacuum hopper now. I need a regular hopper. And I'm going to need a trash can. Is there such thing as a trash can? There is. Okay, I need to get stone, brick, okay. Just like that. Makes a regular trash can. And I'm probably just going to put this... Where do I put this? Probably in the back there. Wait, no, I have a better idea. Instead of trash not all... Drawer. We got storage drawers. We'll do that instead of trash not all, because then we can keep all this. Uh, let me put it around the back. Um, okay, so we put the vacuum hopper there. <laughs> Instantly filled. Um, break this, like that. Put a hopper, and then a drawer. We might need a faster collection system. Too bad you can't double right click to fill it up. The only thing that's going to fill up is your irrality ir ir crystal. So we'll have to... There might there has to be a quicker way to export this stuff. I can't even upgrade the drawer either. That simple... Oh, there is. I just need to craft these things. Okay. So this should hold way more. Can I put them in like that? I think I just crashed my game. Yeah, I just crashed the game. <laughs> Word of advice, do not try and put items into a drawer when you have a UI open. Okay, back in. Game sort of recovered. Um, and I don't know how to upgrade anymore. So I'm deciding I'm just going to trash everything. If I need Ender Pearls, I'll just come here and just take them out of the thing, because I doubt this thing's going to be at export fast enough. Uh, trash can. I'll just keep all the ones I can. Oh my god. And we're going to have so much XP from this thing as well. Uh, bottle. Wait, isn't there like an exploit you put one bottle in and you get like, a ton of it? Yes! I put w three bottles and I have 43 XP. Um, yeah, that's a little bit of a bug. Um, okay. We're still going to get a ton of XP. Because if this thing fills up, it's not going to go anywhere. And even if this thing does collect it, we just gather it out of there with bottles of experience. But anyway, that's the XP farm. I'm going to end the episode there, so... Thanks very much for watching. Oh god, game froze. Ugh. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you enjoyed and you don't want to miss any further uploads. I also do stream over on Twitch, uh, link is in the description. And don't forget to hit follow me on Twitter because I do post notifications and updates from yeah, blah, 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 over there. So, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed and goodbye. Thank you.